with all of the great rookie halfbacks that have come out of this draft class, everyone's super hyped to see which one's going to do the best. Uh, who would have guessed James Robinson would put in one of the best performances uh, in week one? I'm assuming most people wouldn't because I'm pretty sure most people didn't even know who James Robinson was before week one. I know I just found out about him right before week one. Uh, everyone thought that when they got rid of Leonard Fournette, it's because they were tanking. Turns out they were just uh, making way for our new uh, Jacksonville running back overlord, James Robinson. What a game he had, and let's just jump into it. One of the things I was so impressed with when it comes to Robinson was his vision. His vision was fantastic. And, you know, that could partially explain why he went undrafted but still had a really good uh first game. Again, I don't want to, you know, hype him up too much, but I also enjoy hyping people up too much, so that's my problem. But, uh, you know, I thought that his uh, his vision was really good, where w what you're going to see is that it's basically just one-on-one -on -one matchups across the board right here. Uh, but as this play starts, you're going to notice that uh, 54 right there does a very good job of getting to the left side of the screen and trying to clog up a certain gap. That's where Robinson wanted to run. That's where Robinson was thinking about running towards. But now at the last second, he has to not run in that direction. Indianapolis left... Uh, a linebacker on the right side of the screen unblocked because you can't block everybody. Uh, and so the plan is to try to get the run as far to the left as possible to stay away from that. But Robinson now realizes that his only option would be to run to the right side of uh, 54. And that's, I'm, I'm using our right, not his right. Uh, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to burst through and he's able to fall forward and pick up a pretty good gain on that one. Uh, even though, you know, it was pretty well defended. And that's kind of uh, what you hope for a, a running back to do, is just figure out the best way to gain as many yards as possible. And that's what Robinson was able to do there. And I also like how he fell forward there as well. Just a really good all-around uh, play from Robinson. While a lot of times when you're talking about a running back, uh, you know, when you show their highlights, uh, most of the highlights are going to be just when everything goes well, when it's well blocked. But sometimes you can learn a lot more. In fact, I think you can almost always learn a lot more from a running back when things don't work out too well. And so take a look at this play where there's the three blocks on the left side of the screen. Uh, the main one I want you to look at would be the one against Darius Leonard because Darius Leonard, obviously one of the best uh, linebackers in the game. I mean, he's just fantastic and he's going to do a great job at realizing this is the running play, crashing in, completely taking out that gap. So that's where Robinson wanted to run. Uh, he can't now. Leonard completely disrupted this play. Great job by Leonard. That's just kind of what he does. That's just, you know, one in a million of, or one of a million plays that Leonard will do uh, throughout the course of a game. He's just fantastic. And so if you notice, if you look all the way to the left side of the screen, 37 is crashing in here. So he's kind of the contain guy to some degree where if Robinson does want to bounce things to the outside, he's not going to gain too many yards, although there's also a receiver in the game. Uh, so R Robinson's going to just bounce all the way to the outside and picks up a few yards. Again, this is nothing crazy. This is nothing that's going to make you say, oh my goodness, what a run from uh, Robinson. But still, considering how quickly these things happen and the fact that he's still able to realize so quickly, like, I got to do something else because this isn't working, I think it's impressive. And, you know, he is someone who he's not afraid to look for a big play. But I feel like when he does go to the outside or look for a big play, which are two things that are often the same but not always, uh, but I feel like when he does bounce things to the outside, he does it in a way that's always very smart. He's not doing it just to do it, uh, which you will see a lot of lesser talented players still think they're more talented and try something like that. That's not Robinson. He's picking his spots, and he's picking his smart spots smartly. Like, this one's another good example of just the fact of, of just his vision, where uh, it's a pretty simple blocking uh, concept. The center and left guard will be double-teaming an interior lineman. The guard gets up to block 54. Robinson just continues running through that gap. Very simple. That's how this is going to work. Uh, and what you see is that Robinson starts to go in one direction, but at the last second, uh, the Colts linebacker does a, again, a good job. There was a lot of good play by Indianapolis in this game. Uh, he does a good job of getting to the outside and sort of forcing Robinson back to the inside a little bit. And as you see, there isn't that much space to fit through the inside, which is the problem. However, Robinson is still able to sort of just power through and pick up as many yards as possible. Again, that's your job as a running back, not to get a touchdown every play, to pick up as many yards as possible. I do think vision is probably the most underrated aspect of a running back because it can be so important is, you know, vision paired with decision making. Those things kind of go hand in hand. And he makes those quick decisions and is able to see what's going on so well that it just makes him such a valuable piece 
for this Jacksonville Jaguars team. I, I genuinely believe that Robinson was as big of a part of that win as Minshew was. I know the numbers weren't like crazy. I mean, he just had 62 yards on 16 attempts. But just the fact that he was being successful through the running game, I think it, it gives you some concern uh, if you are uh, the defense. And that can kind of open things up for Minshew in a lot of ways. And the fact that he was able to just be consistently solid, that was enough for me. And of course, he also had a big uh, passing play. And let's just show that passing play right now. So this is the relatively simple concept. You just throw it to Robinson on the outside. You have a, a tight end and a receiver. They both block the two Indianapolis players who are out there. Robinson runs and picks up as many yards as possible. Very simple, not too exciting. And this play is going to be well blocked, uh, well executed all the way around. Uh, so now you see that the next two Indianapolis players are in the area. And this is fine for Jacksonville. They're not expecting Robinson to be able to break two tackles and pick up the first down here. They just wanted him to, you know, make it a, an easy uh, third down situation so they could try to convert on that. However, he's going to leap over one of them, get by another Indianapolis player, and pull off what has to be one of the best plays of the, uh, you know, of, of the, the season so far through one week. Do I think he's going to be doing that every game? No. So I'm not really going to, you know, freak out about it too much just in the, the sense that, like, you know, how practical is it and how much is that actually going to add? But the fact that he can pull off like something like that kind of just shows what kind of an athlete he is and maybe shows that, I mean, definitely shows he was worth a draft pick at some point. And I also do like his like his burst. I like his acceleration and his speed. Uh, you know, this is the play where everything does go right. Uh, again, there's still plenty you can learn when everything does go right as well. Uh, and it's going to be, again, relatively simple. Uh, the guard's just going to block the inside uh, lineman. Uh, and then you're going to have your center pull around. He blocks 54 right there. Uh, and I like how Robinson, you know, he does a good job of right when he has to accelerate. He accelerates very well. Uh, he is able to run through and get the gap. Again, I'm not trying to say that he's, you know, and when it comes to that, that he's uh, Ezekiel Elliott or, you know, one of these top tier guys. But he's still very good at that. And he's definitely a starting running back in the NFL, in my opinion. I think he's proven already through one game. Uh, from what I've seen, I'm willing to say he's a top 32 back in the NFL. I do worry if he'll be able to really get uh, too many opportunities with Jacksonville just simply because I don't know if I trust their offensive line that much. I thought their line actually held up pretty well against Indianapolis, but honestly, I don't trust Indianapolis's D-line too much, so I don't know how much that says. It'll be a much more interesting test next week against Tennessee, uh, who I do think has a, a much better defensive line. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I really like Robinson. I think he's a really good player and just a fun story. You know, undrafted guy ends up getting the week one start and really performs very well. So uh, very fun stuff. What did you guys think of James Robinson's uh, you know, game. I was either going to make a video on him or CJ Henderson, but I kind of figured, you know, I've talked about CJ Henderson uh, leading up to this season. I ha honestly had no idea who Robinson was up until like right before the game when I found out he was going to be starting. So uh, definitely uh, very interesting stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think about James Robinson? And of course, as always, thanks for watching.